talented Petit Noir is joining me in studio. His brand new album is coming out on the 11th of September, and he's here to tell us all about it. Hello. Hi, hi Jane. Thank you for joining me. Good to be here. Now, how long have you been in Cape Town for? I know you do you travel between Cape Town and London quite often. How long were you here this time around? Uh, for like two months. Two months? Yeah, two months. All right. Now, I have to ask you this question. I'm sure so many people have asked you before. Do you prefer Cape Town or London more? <laughs> uh, it depends. For, uh, the, the each have their reasons, you know. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they have their reasons. Well, Cape, Cape, to Town's, pick one. Cape Town is like, if I want to chill you know, and stuff like that, it's nice. London's like work, work mm. mode, you know. It's actually hard to transition between those two modes. I don't know how you do it so effortlessly. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I have to come mm. back, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tough, tough, tough All right, tough, tough. your new album, La Vie est Belle, or Life is Beautiful, yeah. in English, is coming out on the 11th of September. Yeah. What can we expect from it? Uh, it's a lot, it's a lot uh, angrier than that, like, not angrier, but it's, it's just, uh, it's a lot more um, commanding, you know, than the last mm. album. The last album was more like, so they have, they have the same kind of emotion, the same kind of emotion, but on two different spectrums, you know. Yeah, so this one's a lot angrier, a lot more musical. Yeah, that's nice. When you say angrier, what do you mean? Were you were you in an angry space when when you wrote it? What kind of journey are we going on? Uh, I think it's just a lot more to say, really. You know. It's a lot more to say. Um, yeah, still have more to say this time around. I read today that you've had run-ins with ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> every every night, no, I'm joking. Yeah, no, no, really, where did you read that from? I read that, and it was an article that was published today. I think <laughs> it was published on... Um, um, I ah, guess I, I have before. Website. I have before, yeah. I guess. But, I mean, that sounds a bit stupid, but... I don't think it sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you have before, um, what do you mean? Explain it to us so it doesn't sound so obscure. Uh, I don't know. Like I've just sort of heard things, mm -hmm. you know, and just I don't know, seeing weird things that I only are uh, only able to explain later. Okay. You know, but yeah, they were, they were weird. Now, speaking of ghosts, uh, Till We Ghost is the yeah. your first debut single. You worked on it with Yasin Bey, yeah. also known as Most Def. I really want to hear from you what it was like working with him. Yeah, it was good. It was good. He's, a, he's, a, he's like a proper musician, you know. Mm. He's like an all-rounder. Well, like a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, you know, I wouldn't really even call him a rapper, you know. He's, yeah. more, he's actually just an artist, a mm. musician. You know. And yeah, it was uh, an amazing experience. I learned so much from him. And uh, yeah, hopefully work with him again sometime. Yeah. How did you meet him? Uh, actually, like we were, I was walking, like um, I was walking with a friend, mm -hmm. and uh, and we knew like another guy that he was with, like and he and he were, they were like standing by the paper club, and we were walking past the paper club, and. Uh, so he stopped to greet the other guy, and he was there, obviously. And uh, and yeah, he was like, oh, that's why I met him. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and he really liked Toby Ghosts. And he knew about it before I even met him, so well, yeah. which was pretty cool. And then I was like, yeah, so do you want to come, do you want to be on the song? And he, went, and he was like, yeah, and then he got to be on the song. Now, what, what was it? like working with him? Did you look up to him as, as an yeah, artist before you met him? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, with like traveling man and stuff, like my, my only my brothers and my sisters, like they like where I get my music from, mm -hmm. you know. So, so growing up, you know, they would, that's what they were listening to, like, you know, like when that like, single come out. I think it was like '97, like '98, mm. you know. And um, yeah, so growing up, I'll listen to that, and uh, yeah, because of my brothers and sisters. So. Yeah, and you have such a unique sound. I think it, it's hard to find other music to compare it with? Where do you get your inspiration from? How do you create such a unique sound? Um, I don't know, I think it's just uh, 
the environment I've grown up in. You know. I've grown up in like a, an environment that's 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 uh, that was never really like local. You know, and I don't, when I say local, I don't mean like here. Yeah, like I'm just saying like we've always been traveling. Like my family's, you know. My family's like my, my parents' parents moved from wherever they were to you know, you know they've always so I've had all these like different influences you know and uh, yeah I've just sort of also learned the more I've grown up to sort of keep my keep to keep my mind open yeah you know and sort of that's all the like influences really. What influences are we going to hear on the new album? Wow, so many things. It's a surprise. I'll let a you, surprise, alright. I'm up for that. I'll let you uh, decide what it is.